So here we have another circle. Find the center radius form of the circle, graph the circle, give the domain and the range. This time our center is not at the origin. And so the, the formula that I want is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where h and k are the center of the circle and my radius is 3. So here I'm going to get x minus a negative 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 3 squared or x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 9. That's my center radius form of the circle. Now to graph the circle, we want to start by plotting the center at negative 2, 1, right about there, negative 2, 1, and then apply the radius. A radius of 3 from here, I want to go 3 units to the right. That takes me to the point 1, 1. From the center, I want to go 3 units to the left. Notice that takes me to negative 5, 1. From the center, I want to go 3 units up. Gives me a y value of 4, negative 2, 4. And from the center, go 3 units down. The y value becomes negative 2. So I get negative 2, negative 2. And there's my circle draw the circle, use those four points as a guide. And then find your domain and range. So here I'll write the domain using interval notation. For domain you want to read the graph from the left to the right. My leftmost point is this point at negative 5, 1. And for the domain, we only want the x value. My domain starts at negative 5. And then reading to the right, my rightmost point has an x value of 1. And then my range. For the range, you want to read the graph from the bottom to the top. The lowest point on the graph has a y value of negative 2. For the range you're looking at the y values. And then my highest point on the graph has a y value of 4. So my range goes from negative 2 to 4.